YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with an installment of Wishlist Wednesdays. So I have a pretty cool one for you guys today. I have a package from Bearded Pop Hunter, I think. And I have two Funko Pops I'm going to show you guys that I got in today's segment. So let's get right to it and see what I got. Here we go. Listen, been in the game for a minute. Clocking in because it's time to get down to business. Starting is a habit, on me I'm good at it. Asking around town, I'm known as the Pop Savage. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're new to this channel, welcome and hit the subscribe button down below as well so you update to my most recent content, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, I, I got a package from Beard Pop Hunter, or at least I think it's from him. There's no address, return address, but it was the only package, package I was expecting in my P.O. box. So um, hopefully this is what it is, and I can show you guys, because I, I was actually pretty excited. He He's the one who got me to buy these before. I got the wrong things and uh, hoping that this is the right thing and hopefully have the same luck with them. So let's get into this package. So he had the super duper wrapping on this. <laughs> and some orange chicken, word. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. Let's get some orange chicken to protect the goods. Oh yeah, this is from him, so all right. So we have some more of these Tiny Toon Animaniacs figures. So, if you guys saw, I did a previous video, I accidentally ordered the keychains and not the vinyl figures. So he saw these at his local shop and uh, he picked them up for me because I can't seem to find them anywhere. Um, you know, I can find them online, but they're not too, they weren't the same price. So, uh, shout out to him for, for hooking me up with these. Um, got them from Bella Books. Shout out to them as well. So I'm gonna open these up. Here's a look at what you guys can get. So. Um, like last time I showed you guys there were only Tiny Toon stuff with the vinyl figures you can get Animaniacs too, they're mixed in there and then uh, the secret character right down there is Freakazoid so really hoping for that, really hoping to get um, I want Calamity Coyote, Little Beeper and um, Dizzy Devil and Slappy Squirrel, that'd be really dope as well I'll take Freakazoid, Freakazoid wasn't my favorite cartoon growing up uh, Tiny Toons ones are the ones I want so Hoping for some good luck. So we're gonna bang through these real fast. I got five of them, and then I'll show you guys the Funko Pops. So let's see if we get lucky with these. Hopefully he picked the right ones, and not um, I don't want Babs and Buster Bunt. Well, I wouldn't, I would take them. I don't want the Animaniacs, just cause I have the Funko Pops already. So I'd rather have something that I don't already have the figures for. So let's see what we get, the first one. And I think the rarest one's obviously Freakazoid, but outside of that, I think, Slappy Squirrel and Calamity, no, Dizzy Devil. Dizzy Devil's actually the, the um, most rare. All right, here we go. These things are hard to open for some reason. Oh, oh, all right. So I, I I'll take that one because uh, he doesn't have a Funko Pop. So we have uh, Professor uh, Scratch and Sniff. Um, so very, very cool. I've watched almost all the, the new uh, Any Maniacs uh, reboot and he definitely made an appearance in one of the episodes. It was a pretty decent episode too. And uh, very cool, so I, I definitely will take this. As you guys can see, these are the vinyl figures, not the keychains, definitely a lot cooler. Um, like I told you guys in the past, the Kid Robot stuff, I have a bunch of it still. I was collecting that stuff well before I even got into Funko Pops. I don't think I knew what Funko Pops were when I was collecting these. So Professor Scratch is different one out of every 24, so he's one of the more uncommon ones, so I will definitely take that. So off to a good start so far. Let's see if we can keep that good time rolling. You know. I wouldn't mind having Babs and Buster Bunny, you know, they're the most common ones, but um, they haven't made them to Funko Pops yet, which is kind of amazing. I don't know why, if they don't have like licenses maybe for them or something. But let's see what we got. Of course, <laughs> we have uh, Wacko right there. No, no, yeah, Wacko, right? No, yeah, Wacko. For some reason I was about to say Yakko, Yakko's the taller one. Uh, Wacko, now this is pretty cool. Um, he's actually missing an arm. What? what? What is going on here, Kid Robot? Um, is it even in here? No. So Beard of Pop Hunter picked up a missing arm wacko for me. I gotta talk to Kid Robot about this, cause uh, there's definitely an arm missing and I don't see it anywhere, so it did not come with it. So, got the pop or the figure I didn't want, really, and it's missing the arm. So, we'll see. Hopefully that means there's something good coming after this. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh man, this feels like a bunny. Oh, Hampton, I will take that. 
All right, cool. So I, we did get the Hampton keychain last time. So now we have the vinyl figure. Definitely better. It looks like his head's leaning for some reason, but uh, there we go. Very, very cool Hampton figure. Like I said, I hope Tiny Toons turn, gets and turns into Pops. I think that'd be really cool. I have a lot of the old Kid Robot uh, Trios of Horror stuff for Simpsons, so that's why it took me so long to get the, the Funko Pops, because I had them. So I like to have the figures of stuff I don't already have. And uh, Hampton's definitely a cool one. So they don't have Plucky Duck in here for whatever reason. Um, they didn't have it for the keychain either, so that's kind of a weird one to, to skip out on. If you ever watched Tiny Toons, he was a main character, so let's see if we can get that Dizzy Devil. That's the one I want the most. This feels like it could be Dizzy. A missing ears buster. Oh, okay, okay. So his ears are in here. All right, so that makes sense because he's a little bit, um, the ears are fragile. We have Buster Bunny right there. Uh, pretty cool. I'll take that one. Uh, Babs and Buster were, you know, you know, iconic for me growing up uh, in the 90s. You know, even more so than maybe Bugs Bunny, just because um, I watch the show every day. So very, very nostalgic for me. And we have one final one left. Uh, again, looking for looking for Dizzy Devil. One out of every 48. And I don't know how much this Freakazoid is. I think it's one out of every 100. So let's see if we can pull one of the, the top ones. Hit that like button for some good luck, guys. And let's see if we can pull something nice. All right, here we go, here we go. We have Dizzy. I don't feel any ears. Oh no, I feel ears. All right, so hopefully it's Babs. Ah, oh. uh, two Busters. All right, guys, so I gotta say, you know, overall, I like these figures. Like, they're really, really cool to me. I've always liked Kid Robot stuff. I don't find them so often. Um, I don't even know where to get them. He got them from his local bookstore. I, I don't see them out anywhere at all. Um, so, always nice to see these. Uh, really nostalgic for me and nostalgic uh, properties well with Tiny Toons. So, shout out to Bearded Pop Hunter. If you, for whatever reason you don't already follow on YouTube, check him out. And uh, I really appreciate you hooking me up. So, let's get into the Funko Pops I got for you guys today. Alright guys, so I got two Funko Pops that uh, I want to show you guys today. Both I've ordered online. This first pop I ordered back in maybe October, November. Something really long time ago, and I finally got in the mail. Um, so really excited. They came in in good condition too, which um, isn't always the case. So I'm um, really happy that this uh, came in good condition because I do like this Funko Pop. We have Katara from Avatar. So I have almost every Avatar Pop now. I have one more that's coming that I'll show you guys in a future video. And then I'm missing uh, Azula, which she's starting to come down in price. And one thing I want to tell you guys is there's a lot of fakes going on with that right now. So be very, very careful. Most of the fakes have a, um, what's that, the, like the GameStop sticker on there? Like the one they have with the crown or whatever, Collector's Club, I think it is. A lot of the fakes, most of the fakes have that one. What I've, what I've seen, the special edition sticker ones seem to be okay. But again, make sure you uh, look at over those pretty carefully. There's a lot of them coming out. And um, I think eventually it's going to restock on GameStop just because once it starts restocking overseas, it starts to come over here sometimes. So I've been p pretty patient with that one. I, that's one of my top grails in my collection. So I'm um, really excited to see that it's coming down in price and restocking. But fortunate enough to get this Katara now. I got it on a restock. I don't know if they've sold out or not. Uh, but Katara was uh, one of my favorite characters on the show. They did a good job uh, with the animation on the mold for her, showing that she's got the um, water bending. And uh, very, very, very cool Funko Pop. Um, I, I almost feel like this is a set that you should keep out of the box too, just because there's so much um, going on with the moles, the bending and stuff, and it kind of doesn't really get captured in the box. So very, very cool Funko Pop. Um, and uh, just wanted to show you guys this one. Like I said, I have a couple more coming in, so when they come in, I will show you guys. Um, and if you have an Azula you wanna trade, let me know, because um, I'm definitely looking to add one of those to the collection. So I have one final pop I wanna show you guys today. This one came directly from Funko, and uh, I have not seen it yet. I'm opening it now for the first time. And at first, I wasn't gonna get this, to be honest with you. And then something told me that if I didn't get it, I'd end up regretting it. So, let's see how this looks, and let's see if I made the right decision or not. If I can get it out, here we go. But I mean, I got almost all the other ones, so I, I might as well grab this one. And it is none other than Michael Jeffrey Jordan. So we have the Funko Shop exclusive Michael Jordan. This is from the 93 All-Star game, I believe. Uh, he's got the Aquas on. Um, 
they, you know, they did what they could do with them. <laughs> they look all right. They don't look like the aquas thing, the tongue right, but you know, whatever. Um, you know, I'm really happy with this one. Uh, they, I got all the other ones, the other All-Star game, which I think was from 95. So this one's the 93 one, which I believe was in Salt Lake City. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but very, very dope. Uh, Michael Jordan. I have all the other ones. The only one I missed out on was that Walmart UNC one, which has started to skyrocket in value for whatever reason. Um, I don't know why, because I have the other UNC one, and that one seems to be um, the regular, like regular retail price. So um, I don't want to miss out on any of these. I have all these Michael Jordans displayed in my sneaker closet. Um, maybe I'll show you guys one day um, so you guys can see that. Um, but very, very cool Funko Pop, and I don't regret it. It did sell out um, right after it dropped too. So Fortunate enough that I was able to pull the trigger on this one and this gets added to my Jordan collection. So that's all I have for you guys today. Just want to show you guys the two Funko Pops, show you guys that package from Beard, and um, let you guys see what was in there. So I really appreciate you checking this out. Let me know what your favorite thing was in the comment section below. If you've not already hit that like button, hit subscribe button. Check me out on my second channel at Savage Breaks if you're interested in Pokemon and sports cards. And check me out on Instagram at the Pop Savage. You can stay connected there too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you later.